see what's going on. I think it was called the Maw. <gasps> you had a crappy day? That sucks. Let's see if me being scared shitless will make it any better. Because I've already screamed once. It was terrible. this only a little ledge. Ah, those little bastards! Most people spend their Damn whole it. lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I saw, I ran, I lived. That's right, I ran. I have spent my whole life hiding like a Marianne. The edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it, it became my normal. That thing 
It was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This... ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? Yeah, what happened to Thomas? Marianne! Wake up, please! Oh. Marianne! <gasps> I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Yeah, we gotta help sadness. Okay. Is someone there? Radio? Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? The fuck? What was that thing? Hello? Hi! Richard! We gotta find... Richard? No, <laughs> Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Day room. Are you trying to show me the way? What's this? What do we get? Oh. Okay, yeah, that's the shoe from earlier. Okay. This way. Off we go. Um. Um. No more little things to look at. Oh. Safest place for the youngest. Uh oh. All right. I need a key. What now? Oh, okay. I guess. What? Fever dream. I keep seeing it in my dreams. The other place. Dust and death as far as the eye can see. Feeling of nothingness. Tearing at my soul. I wake up choking. Feeling the dust burning through my lungs. I beg for it to stop. He says there's no helping it. Then again, he... He would say that, wouldn't he? Creepy. Scary Squatch Scream Stream, indeed.
first Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least sadness was still with me, in a way. Yeah, when you can't donate bits, rip. It's okay though. Save your bits for antebellum. Eventually though, I will have the bits. Maybe. Oh, it's a swimming pool. They did not maintain their swimming pool, that makes me sad. Running simulator, I have run two kilometers. I guess let's go down into the pool. Was that door open before? Like this. I really don't like this. Okay. Hello. Anybody home? Lovely, more splattered blood everywhere. Ray. Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. Definitely didn't need to feel that. Dearest, I wish this was it. The moment I pluck up the courage and actually send this one. Seems so easy, just throw it in the mailbox. Then why can't I? Someday, I promise. I love you with all my heart. F.
Francis, what am I supposed to do with you? Once Neva shut down, you begged me to keep you on. Said you needed time to sort things out. Said you could be useful. But now I know you're just using me as an excuse. Like those letters you keep writing, I know you'll never send a single goddamn one. Families doing good, Mr. Rekowitz. I probably, I'll probably go home this next spring, summer, at the latest. Were you kidding, Frank? Hell, as long as you're here, I can at least keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't get hammered and pass out in a snowdrift. Guess it's the least I could do. Good old Frank, too scared to live, too stubborn to die. Sometimes I feel guilty for using you like this, but then I remember I need all the help I can get. What the fuck was that? Um. Um. Locked. Are those bolt cutters? Hey, Might be okay. Useful. Those work. If only I could reach them. Sadness. How did you? Ah, shit. Bruh. Well, that's my seven years bad luck. What the fuck is in the background? Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I'll... Yes, I'm 
understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. She did it. She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. Is that really what, what? you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. Nurse. I... How? Why? that? Oh god, it's everywhere. How many people Bruh. died here? By the looks of it, all of them. Wait, can I not get back up? Where did the little mafias go? The nice apparition-y one. Try to eat my face. I don't like them. I'm sure they're here somewhere. No, Bernard wouldn't do that. He's nice. Ugh, she's talking to herself again. What a freak. Hey, don't talk about her like that. In here. This isn't funny. I really don't think we should. Shut the heck up, Bernard. Guys! Oh, kids can be such assholes sometimes. I'm sure. <sighs> Jafar? 
What is it? You want to show me something? Oh, don't tell me they locked her in what the, the hell? locker. It looked back at me. Snowdrop, huh? Why Aww. does that sound familiar? Torn illustration. Oh shit, the reflection of the white cat is the black. Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? Through the looking glass. Hopefully Squatchin doesn't get lost. Actually, Squatchin will most definitely get lost. Absolutely. It is guaranteed. where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. Rip. Oh, yay! Oh, no, no. Nope. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart. Broken. The 
Ha! Ha! Well, I could use some of that energy. That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. Shit. Saw it the fucking skin wall. Fixed camera angles. Suck. Some more juice. Antebellum is here. Huzzah! Just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. We're still in that uh, resort place. Uh, Sadness was uh, bullied while she was there, found out. And a bunch of people were like slaughtered. Lots of, uh, lots of not good behavior. Bastards. This was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. Yeah, let's put Bernard's face back. He was relatively nice to Sadness, whose name is Lily, actually. Found that out. to get through the mirror. It feels like it too. Oh, okay. We got a new uh a new new uh new move for our our, our kit. We can now pass freely through the mirrors. That's 
that's cool. I can dig it. Oh no 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 no! Stay with me. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Can't be meowing. He knows I'm streaming. Such a supportive Benny. Caffeine. Yummy. Okay. Oh, what the shit? No. No, 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 no. No. No escaping it. Examination room. Great. Another mirror. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Comrade, let's go bowling. Locked. Mm, locked doors, what the fuck? Faces. No way to help them. Just like Bernard.
Not who. The other guy is in here too. I guess they call them Mon. Huh. M A W. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go. They're about to start. You know what they say. If you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice... That's the guy. Where are we going down? Across the hall? Attendance list. I'll Wait. bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? Hmm. Um. Which do you think, chat? Who do you think it is? I think it's either number. One or number three, but number one sounds like a woman's name. It's probably number three. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Late? Boris? Okay, so number nine. I figured since he was on the phone, he was late. Alright. Oh, is this some kind of puzzle thing? Seven. you're missing. There's three at the head, and then three along each side. 
no chairs beside. I think we have to go back to the other, uh, the other side. Hopefully it's Boris. get you out, I promise. There we go. There we go! I miss you a lot. I really hope you can join me soon. You would love it here. The weather is great. The sun is shining. The lake is beautiful. The people are nice. Nice and dead. All of them. Love F.
brought... <clears throat> Guess you could say he brought F to the chat. Lol. Good lord. Somebody will fall on my ass again. Does that hurt? Invisible enemies? a ballerina? This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. There. That's her room. 
Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Fucking peepholes, really? What degeneracy is this? Oh well, crossover. Okay, let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Huh. A page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. George's home, Mall, Newell Resort. What's this? What's on the floor? Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. Eh, uh, here we go. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? Oh, you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Um. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Rhea, that was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never well, mind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. I guess this Frankie person is kind of creepy and, and... Harvey? Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie... She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. and Tori. As in Victoria?
You called the other one Ellie when you were talking on the phone, so... Tori, it's you. The real you. That's your name. It made hey. sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. to find my way back and to find her face or am I lost no no -uh. no what do you mean no interact with it damn it So not this way. Clipping will come. Okay. If you must. Okay, and these things are telling me to go. I can't. Damn it. This is where it happened. Ugh. Oh, okay. Never mind. Of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh. No, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. We go this way, I think. No. I am hopelessly lost. All. Oh, achievement! Insightful. gonna lie, it felt good. Putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. Okay. Where do I put this face thing?
You're surprised Squatchin isn't as lost as before, Exotic? Really? Why you gotta pick on me so damn much? What the shit? <laughs> I'm jogging like an asthmatic. Right here. Hey, Mike the bike. How's it going? Here. At least, not in this world. Faces on people and releasing their souls. It's okay. I am. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank hey. you. You did it, Marianne. Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. No. Anywhere is better than here. Will you just let me pick you up already? Hmm. Need the bolt cutters, damn it. Give me my bolt cutters. <laughs> Bike the mic. <laughs> Killing joke, what is it? What is it? Is it a movie? What's it about? Tell me. Is it good? <laughs> Mr. Rekowitz is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tar Tarkowski to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly, likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone of her age. Sometimes I can hear her play playing out full conversations, and I'd swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Batman movie. Very cool. First bit is slow. Yes. Fucking Jack. Time For to real. Get back to the day room. I acquired the bolt credits. Sweet. Now let me jump down. This place. This is where it started. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. Tasted death? What's this? My poor, poor Mr. Tarkovsky, what happened to you? The test came back, no signs of any brain trauma or dementia, and still I look into your sad, empty eyes, and I have this awful feeling that there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love, I'll take care of you no matter what. I'll make sure you're as happy as you can be. 450 milligrams of... Ben... Lefaxine? Ben Lefaxine? I don't know. That'll cheer you right up. It's drugs. Drugs, drugs. Chair is covered in layer. Oh dear! Look at 
that. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? <laughs> Even a speck of you left? I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. What the shit? The nurse. It got to her first. But why? So quiet, and I don't like it. Hmm. So hey. worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. Oh, bolt cutters are the homie. Oh yeah. Okay, down the stairs. Too quiet. Very too quiet. Until the the ma shows up and scares the crap out of me. And you can't see him because he's fucking invisible. I'm going to have a heart attack. Kind of sounds like a spy hey. name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. <laughs> <laughs> Cutter. Movie star. Like bolt cutters. In a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. What? Okay, we are back. Okay. This place. This is where it started. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made oh, its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. Oh no, the bottom part is shit. I didn't realize that my... Stuff was being cut off. I'll fix that for next time. Hi, Exotic. How are you? How's it going? I already know what that's. Like. 
Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even a speck of you left? I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. <laughs> The nurse. It got to her first. But why? Hi, Mike. Let's try this again. Love you, bolt cutters. <laughs> Love you, bolt cutters. Kinda sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Or a movie star, like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Spy name it is. door we tried to get through when we first started playing. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. Okay. I hope she's all right. Sadness, where are you at? Family time, holidays in the country. Here we go. Are we ready? There we go. Oh, cutscene. God. You're all right. I was so worried. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Sad. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. Uh, from helplessness. From rage. Rage? Uh, it's like anger. But more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. 
I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Hey. Why don't you tell me something about Floating this ball. Place. Floating ball. It's the day <laughs> you used to play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he became hollow, like a puppet. He... Oh. I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you bring me here? Damn it, sadness. Shit. It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. Investigate the day room. This to be a flesh wall we can interact with, so we're gonna cut through the flesh wall. Richard? Are you there? I can't tell what it is. Okay. What else do we got? Deiru. Hopefully no, um, what you call it? I won't be able to deal with fucking law. I want none of that shit. Light. Found a page from a mentor's diary. I remember the first time I met him. Working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man. Wide eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was mean. of Ela. Isn't that wonderful?
Gather round, children. Go. I want you to meet Lilian. She's <laughs> going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I... I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his intention. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be in his chosen field, and so he started on his way to be an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence, but deep inside, I guess I was glad to see the, glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his senior demons. Think there he would we be go. Better off in a nursing home. What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but. All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Hmm. Hmm. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of the world to be on our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. 
To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty, rather than madness. Have we not come across a single frickin' well yet? What? Right now I'm just annoyed. Watch this be really easy, but Squatchin doesn't realize it. Yeah, okay. Spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. 
Oh, is this it? Reminds me of my childhood. At least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? Yes, that's sadness. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Uh, at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Special. Oh, I gotta find a piece of the... Was 
this? Taken away. Oh. Rip. You don't have to choose between us. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. That's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Rekovich? I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Rip. Thomas. You thought he... deserved it. Ah! <gasps> Thomas! Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he had found true happiness, true love, strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Liwa, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. That should be all the pieces of the score now. It is. So now I select it. I... There we go. I'm glad it helps with the dead air. I'm glad there's lots to read. I was never really good at reading out loud or public speaking and stuff like that in school. It helps to know I'm doing well. But we all know you guys are here for shrieks and cries and, 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 and begging and pleading for my life. So hopefully we can get some of that for you. Where is... There's the piano. Nice. 
we want big room area. Mossy bits. Were those hands? Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the... ferocity of adult lives. Richard? I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief. Yeah, he's creepy. Sorrow and something else. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside it. Oh, what the... Playing a video game. I don't want more allegations. Come on now. Really, game? No, I didn't mean to. Oh, God. What have I done? feels cold. What have you done? Uh. Ah! What the shit? I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> it meant the child eater? Damn it! Flashback. Thought I could protect her. Idiot! What would you think of me? I failed you. I failed us. It's all falling apart.
what? Yes, I... No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. The fuck? You want what? Fuck! Finally decided to let me out of my cage. Bruh. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, well, it's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. You know, sometimes I wonder. Oh, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God <laughs> damn it! Soulmate. There's nothing here. There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Oh, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? The picture? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? What is it? Huh? Okay. It's her. Like he's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't what? have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Beach. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Bruh. That escalated quickly. I'm not sure. How long did I go last time? Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. 
Richard? Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. EDP moment? I trusted her to you. Thomas. What? Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! <laughs> I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Uh, 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 no uh, here. Knowing uh, what she means to me. Uh, Thomas, I, I swear. I'll go away. You'll never... Wait. What are you... No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me... Bro, what? What? Uh-oh. This bitch is the wife? Emo? That's not... Oh, um... Nani? <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it there though, chat. Two hours, not bad. Or do you want more? No, I gotta paint. <laughs> Thanks for swinging by, guys. It's always great to have you. Uh, a reminder that tomorrow is Tuesday. We're going to be doing some, uh, hopefully, hopefully, doing some main quest. Because we're ready for that. Uh, Wednesday, of course, Antebellum is, is doing uh, Warden Wednesday. More Deep Roads. Gotta love it. Thursday is birthday stream. Birthday stream. Woo. Hopefully I can get it working through YouTube because I would like to stream. If not, uh, anyone else who's playing is welcome to stream, of course. No stream sniping now. Not cool. And... Uh, Squatching on the watching, lol. Hey. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for spending your evening with me. It was great having you. 
Sorry this wasn't an actual Saturday stream, but life gets in the way sometimes. And uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.